Yo, 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 TNT Dynamite here, the explosive one. I'm the man on the sticks. And we're playing Magic D -d 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 Duels. That's right, TNT. Playing the duels. Magic. For years, under the guidance of Hicks's, has shaped you into it. It's not even worded properly. For years, under the guidance of Hicks's, has shaped your you into a powerful combat mage. Hicks's believe your natural talent for wielding magic bellies something special about you. He suspects that, like his own mentor, you may be a planeswalker. Oh snap, fam. So I definitely cut out of magic before planeswalkers became like a big thing. It was honestly like when they jumped a shark for me. I know that they're they're pretty much all over the place now and there's a lot of popular ones i don't know them by heart uh akros has fallen under attack and <laughs> as harpies mercilessly swarm the city walls every able body is needed you and uh, the other prisoners are released the city's last hope to beat back the monsters can he do it dude i'm fighting the training drone still why do you make me do these things? You can have multiple creatures grouped together. Yes, Usually, I, uh, an attacking creature will deal all its damage to the creature that blocked it. Yeah, I know You'll how see trample. I know how trample works. Stop. Why do you do this? So I use a 6-6 six, six trample, so I got to block them and kill them. To block an in attack. I first use the left yeah, stick I know how to, to highlight blocks. one of the I know creatures. how to block stuff. Shut up. Training bot. Stop. You're not gonna deal anything with your trample fox, dude. It's not happening. And now I have a trample boy, so now you're gonna get trampled all over us. Your glittering wall. Oh, I don't wanna see training bot. I wanna see what your stupid wall is before I destroy it. It's dumb. You see this thing? It's a trample fox. You can't do anything about it. So trample, he'll take the remainder damage, so he's gonna take two. Blow. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Great job. Uh huh. Sure thing. How about you give me a real deck now? Try not to teach me anything else. I didn't come here to learn. I came here to play the game. Normally, all attacking and blocking creatures. I know how first strike works. I know how it works. Target creature gets plus one plus one against first strike. Great. Cool. Cool beans. Uh, so whose attack is it? It's yours. So I'm going to use this on this guy right now. Because what are you going to do? And then I'm going to block your creature with it. In the heat of the game, I would have waited until damage was dealt, but come on. They are clearly patronizing me still. Yeah, my turn. I get it. Yay, great. I don't even want to put down a land. I want to just... Did I just skip to my... Victory is at hand. Attack your... Normally... I... This quest. <laughs> I accidentally... I accidentally skipped past... <laughs> All right, we're gonna do it again. 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 This time, I'm gonna do it right, though. I'm gonna do it right this time. Block him. A time and then we do this... That's that was just me clicking the Y button too fast. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Quit your timers. Put that down. Attack. We win. Take that training bot. Oh dude, I grew up. Our avatar grew up a little bit, dude. Well done. Hell yeah. I'm not just a, a scrappy young boy. I've grown into a magical mad lad. If one of your creatures dies, it's put into your graveyard. I no Instants mess. And sorceries are also put into your to complete Dude. this skill quest. Use your graveyard Dude. to win this turn. That well, that's easy. You use this card that puts a creature into my hand. Yeah, I want him, dude. That's what I want. And then you attack with it, and you win. Is this, like, I mean, look. 
I, I, I get that they have to make the game so that like uh, very nice. Just you know, like if you were if you were new, but like you know, can I? Can you just give me the option to just like skip the tutorial and just get on with the game, game, game? Trigger whenever something Dude, I know. Complete this skill quest by right. using trigger to. Shut up. All right, what is this? Whenever another red creature is into the battlefield under your control, they get plus one, plus one until the end of the turn. And then in my hand, I have when this enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact. And then over here, he has an artifact wall. Well, you don't freaking say. So I destroy your artifact wall. And then I attack you for two because this guy gets plus one plus one. Oh snap. You thought you had me, fam, but you didn't. So it, it gets pretty deep and like constructing a competent deck. It actually does Excellent. take like some many some ingenuity. Much more than just attack and block. I don't know how many of these I'm going to actually put out. I'm pretty indecisive. I'm moving my mic. I know. I'm sorry, people. I'm moving my mic around. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty indecisive when it comes to what games to actually play. I'm, I basically play a lot of Overwatch and I go to work. <laughs> so, so, and you know, that's, that's pretty much my life. What is that? Is that a foil? I'm putting down dual lands and ish. All right, this is only until the end of turn, so we're gonna get the damage out here. Cause that's man, that's Mando. All right, attack, attack him. He's not gonna do anything back. He's scared, dude. Now that's a good avatar. Look at that thing. Like if you saw that this thing like above your bed harpies <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone I refuse to make a Jonas joke well you like saw that thing like at the foot of your bed when you wake up reach okay okay it's a one three I'm not concerned I'm not afraid all right, this costs two, but it'll get the damage out there. We're going to do it. If he does not block, we got nothing to worry about. He's going to block, so I'm going to use it. That kills his creature, and he takes more damage. There we go. One more thing. All right, another giant spider. Okay, fair, fair. I should have suspected that you had more than one. Put the land out there. What does this thing do? When he enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one, plus one till the end of turn. You don't freaking say. Let's do it. I want to put the fly boy out, but he's got the reach boy, so it only makes sense for me to cause him pain and agony by continuing to attack every turn, relentlessly. Oh, you're gonna block, huh? Good move. Take your three. I think if I get the option, I'm taking that avatar. That's gonna be my face. basically reminiscent of the real me anyway what is this thing whenever another creature dies tap flesh mad steed well that's this terrible that's awful that's not, that's not a good card at all double strike yeah I know how double strike works this thing is flying and double strike and cannot be cast what does this boy do? All right, we're gonna get our fly boy out probably, but I think, yeah, let's just let's pull him out now. It's fine. It's honestly, it's fine. And we're gonna attack. That's a two-two, so we'll attack with that boy and that boy. Leave our three-one protected. It. 
Don't really care if the 2-1 dies. I kind of expect it. There we go. Take your trace, sir. So, I remember uh, when I first started playing with my D&D group. I went over there and, uh, you know, I rolled up a character. And after a few sessions, I went over and they invited me to come and play Magic. When Forsaken Drifters dies, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. Oh, <laughs> get ready to do that. <coughs> um, and, like, I don't have any cards, apparently. Like, uh, unfortunately, somebody stole, like... A bunch of my cards it was really an unfortunate situation but uh and we're gonna attack with everything again I think except for we'll attack with that and a fly boy keep our 3-3 protected it but uh, I go over to her house and he's like hey dude just make a deck and I'm like cool because well first he offered for me to use one of their pre-made decks and I'm like that's not gonna happen so then he was like just make a deck he had a bunch of cards I put a deck together yo Using, using like tokens and charges. I've never even heard of such a thing. It was my first experience. Dominated a whole table. Four headed dragon, two headed dragon, three headed dragon. Uh, the two eyed monster. One eyed monster. Little monsters. Oh, it's a real hobby. But blood toll harpies flying. When blood toll harpies enters the battlefield, each player loses a life. Why would you do that to yourself, man? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, you brought me down to 19. Good job. I guess he really had no other choice. Let's put out a fly boy. Just to let him know that he couldn't hit me even if he wanted to. And then attack with everything. But, uh, and, and it's not like to, to say that I'm exceptionally good at, at Magic the Gathering. Because, like I said, I've played in tournaments and I lose every, I've lost every time. Sometimes in the first round, sometimes I've made it to, you know, the third round. <laughs> Most of the time in the first round. <laughs> but to a layman, you put me in a room full of guys, man, I'm, I, can, I can beat five out of ten of them any day of the week. Kathian wins. With your martial talent and magical skills, you manage to fend off the onslaught of ferocious harpies. However, you hear calls for help from the main gate. Before the harpies can regroup, you make your way along the wall toward the cries. Oh, dude, I gotta go save her life, dude. Oh, okay. So it is more tutorial. I'm cool with that. Let's go. A terrifying Cyclops approaches the main gate, and he's not alone. You and your irregulars, <laughs> irregulars, you and your irregulars are the only ones who can stop the monster from storming the city. Fail to defeat them, and Akros will fall. Succeed, and you'll become the hero worthy of the gods. Well, let's become a hero. God dang it, training drone. I hate you. Enchantments. Are powerful cards. You don't Sam, say. Shut your illness, mouth. Use the enchantment in your hand to win the game. Easy to do. White creatures you control get plus one plus. Well, let's just do it, dude. I got a handful of whites. Or uh, attack with everything and shut your mouth. Wow, training bot. I'm glad I did it. Yay, yeah. Alright, so all of his creatures die, so my creature deals three. Super difficult. Great job. Oh, yeah, great job. Yeah. You gonna congratulate me if I go in the bathroom and wipe my own butt? Are you? Training bot? I'm talking to you. I know what an aura is. Shut up. Dude, shut up. Alright, so this thing is a. 1-1. One, one. I have a pacifist. Classic art. I, I admire it. Right out of Mirage. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one. It has flying. One, oh, for each planes you control. Oh. 
Well, let's go ahead and just put that on you. And let me guess, that makes you a 7-7 flyer, and then we'll put pacifism on this boy. Oh, you can't attack or block now. But most importantly, you can't block now. That's the thing you didn't realize. Seven damage to the head. Well done. Yeah, training bot. Strategy is to use auras to yeah, shut up, training bot. Don't you ever tell me how to play the game. It's like they give me all of these tips and tricks, and then they give me the same white deck with like two cards, cards in it. Put plus one, plus one yeah, in I know how to put counters on, dude. Shut up. All right, put, put this down first off. When supply line cranes enter the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target a creature. Well, this is this is dumb. You, you, you're pissing me off now. Alright, so just make this man a plus one, plus one, and then deal five damage. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I can't wait for it to tell me well done. It's like reverse Stockholm Syndrome. She's super nice to me to like just start liking her. With her. Alright, come on, just. Very nice. Oh. Some decks are based on casting a creature and piling on plus. Yeah, shut up. I don't want to hear you talk. I just want you to tell me I did a good job. Things my mom never told me. I'm kidding. She's a saint, dude. Mrs. Dynamite is. She's a. She's a dang saint. Like I used to think it was crazy. Oh ho ho ho! I got an honor of the pure. I used to think it was crazy, like how people would like kill somebody for like messing with their girlfriend or their mom or something like that I would I, I, I get it <laughs> I get it what is this sacrifice fort of fraternally search your library for basic land put it in the blah 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 all right yeah it's just a land grab congratulations oh ho, ho, ho. uh See, now the thing is, is that, yeah, I should put that down. I'm going to put it down next turn, though. Because I'm looking like, you got to think about damage. I can deal three damage to him this turn. Or next turn, I can be dealing six. And I can cast both of these at the same time. Or next turn I'll be doing seven, because that'd be four plus three. And all he's doing is picking up land and putting it down, so I'm not really concerned. A three, one. Hmm. Alright, that's that's good to know. I'm glad that happened. Shut my mouth. Alright, we're gonna do that. We're gonna put this out. We're gonna attack with our 3-2. We're gonna leave our 4-2 back protected it. He's gonna block. Because he has no choice. Alright, another land. I don't like the specialty land you're bringing out. Is it and or or? It's or. Okay. I'm fine with the ors. It's the ands I have a problem with. Alright, so we're gonna attack this man for four. Boom, take it. What are you gonna do? There is no blocking for you, sir. You're gonna deal three damage to my creature. That's why you wait until the second main phase to cast a creature. Because now we bring this out. Boom. Three, three flyer. That becomes a 4-4 when it flies at you. Alright, what do you got? What do you got? What is this thing? Intimidate. This creature can't be blocked except for artifact creatures and creatures that share its color. Eh, that's adorable. I fear the game is too far out of your reach though, sir. Enchanted Geecher puts plus one plus one for each planes you control. Mmm! That's a problem. That is a problem. 
Oh my god, he's an 8-8 flyboy. It doesn't matter what you have in, at your employ. Your fate is sealed, sir. Oh, let's check out his avatar. Can we do that? Oh, it's the Cyclops man. <laughs> it's, it's great. You cannot beat my youthful existence. I'll take your three. Thank you. Alright, so they're putting some new cards in my hand, but I kind of feel like this is probably, like, all... Like, it's it's all scripted. Like, I feel like all the draws are scripted. 9-9, nine, because, nine. yeah, it just seems... Yeah, well, I guess 10 damage. 10-10. Ten, ten. Flyer. Boom. What Cyclops? He barely laid a hand on me. Well, that feels good. On the next episode, we'll play some more Magic the Gathering. This is TNT Dynamite of the Crazy Town. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And until the next time, I'm out.